Race nine, the Wendy Skeeter, Illinois bred three-year-old trotting fillies for a $35,000 purse. One roll of victory owned by Harvey Eisman of Flint, Michigan, trained by Irv Miller. Brent Holland is up. One A, Fox Valley Diva, owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale, trained by Irvin Miller, the driver Andy Miller. Two Miss Henry, owned by Michael Shan of Chicago, Riley and Ryan Welch of Belvedere, trained by Roger Welch, Ken Holiday in the bike. Three, Raina Bella Scratched. Four, Smokey Bear, owned by Jim Eaton of Crete, Robert and Michael Silberberg of Michigan, trained by Jim Eaton, Dave McGee in the bike. Number five, Cocktail Peanuts, owned by Bill and Marta Alanya of Seymour, trained and driven by Bill Alanya. Six, Never Flirtatious, owned by Thomas and Joseph Mullins of Wisconsin and California, trained by Joseph Mullins. Michael Osting is up. Seven, Step in Time, owned by Whispering Winstable and Steve Bowder of Stager, Illinois, trained by Delaware, Ohio native Steve Bowder. The driver is Sam Widger. Eight, Kim's Lass, owned by Delbert Burkett of Ellery and Don Marinholtz of Chicago, trained by Delbert Burkett, the driver Connell Willis. Number nine, Our Duena, owned by Kathy Vaughn, BFS Racing and LGN Stables, trained by Kathy Vaughn. The driver has been changed to Gary Mills. 10, Defiant Victoria starts the mutual field, owned by John and Linda Howard of Sherman, trained by John Howard, Dale Heitman in the bike, and coupled with her in the wagering is the 11, La Buena, owned by Homer Hochstetler of Crete, by Bruce and Dean Alexander of Westfield, Wisconsin, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. Win, place, show, exact a wagering, post time in seven minutes. They are at the post, gates rolling for race nine at DuCoin. Here they come. Our Duena off stride. The rest are off and trotting. There goes Step in Time for the lead. Fox Valley Diva up on the outside. And now here comes Dave McGee with Smokey Bear between horses. Miss Henry down toward the rail is right there as well. Step in Time has made a break at the entry to the first turn. And they're being led by Smokey Bear who gets to the front by a length past Miss Henry and Never Flirtatious has made a break while racing in the fourth position. Fox Valley Diva goes third and now Miss Henry is off stride. So Fox Valley Diva has had to carefully pick her way past one breaking trotter, then another. Now here she goes for the lead. 28 and two for the opening quarter. Fox Valley Diva gets the lead well before the half. Smokey Bear second by five. Step in time is back trotting, but third. A gap of three and a half more to Cocktail Peanuts in fourth. La Buena is fifth. Defiant Victoria sixth. Miss Henry seventh, a dozen lengths off the lead. A gap of six more back to Never Flirtatious. And then Roll of Victory, who's 15 lengths from the front. Kim's last behind her, and our Duena is trailing. And Fox Valley Diva is all alone on that lead. She got a half in 56 and three. She and Andy Miller cruising into the final turn on a widening 10 length margin over Smokey Bear, who's racing in second by a gap of three and a half. Back to Step in Time, who is third. Defiant Victoria fourth, then Cocktail Peanuts and La Buena. Fox Valley Diva, no secret, she's been much the best of this division since her two-year-old year, three quarters and 124 and four-fifths, and she is roaring off the final turn with a 16-length advantage back to Smokey Bear in second, step in time third, then Defiant Victoria and Cocktail Peanuts, final eighth mile for Fox Valley Diva, owner Sally Watt of Carbondale looking on, Andy Miller stays after Diva, brings her to the line, trying to lower her lifetime record of 156 and 2. She will crush the field in the Windy Skeeter, and she is home in 155 and 1. It was a long way back to Defiant Victoria's second, close for third, either Smokey Bear or Miss Henry, 155 and 1. Second, shattering the former mark, 155 and 1 for Fox Valley Diva. In the winner's circle right now for the Wendy Skeeter, 155 and 1, locally owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale. Ladies and gentlemen, the ultra brilliant Fox Valley Diva.
Sammy Fark, the DeCoin State Fair general manager, has made the trophy presentation for the Windy Skeeter to Sally Watt, who is conversing with trainer Irvin Miller. We've got the winning driver, Andy Miller. Andy, first turn. Looked like you were on eggshells. Every time you looked up, somebody was going off stride. Talk about that first quarter mile. That's the thing about this mare. She's so handy, and I can start her up, stop her, do whatever I want, and a couple of them run in front of her, and I just moved her around them and never bothered her. I know a lot of people had hoped to see her take on the, uh, the Phillies in the Philly Trotting Derby today. Have you talked to Irv? Any, is there any chance we might see this Philly race against open competition like she did in the American National? Yeah, there's a big chance later in the year. I'm not sure what he has planned for, but uh, maybe a little later in the year after some of the Illinois bread stakes are over. You guys have done a great job with her, Andy, to you and Irv and Sally Watt. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Andy Miller, he's our winning driver with Fox Valley Diva.